Well, it's taken forever to get to this point, but apparently I'm coming out to episode 80 of Game is a Pope today. Hey, everybody, Sergeant Pope here, and uh, it's been forever since episode 79, so sorry about that. It's been all the way to, like, the beginning of this fall semester, but uh, college was crazy. I did a lot of extra stuff this semester, so that's why everything uh, kind of slowed down. And also, I did a lot of reviews, which really just slowed down my Game is a Pope to basically non-existence levels of Game is a Pope. But today I'm back a little bit at least. Hopefully I keep keep going. It. Um, I really don't know what's going to happen in the spring semester, but I'm going to keep trying to make these episodes as much as I can because I do love making gaming as a pope. Uh, today the gameplay is Titanfall, by the way. Um, I recorded that game a long time ago, so um, I don't even remember what happened to the gameplay. But it's pretty good. I recorded it on my PC, so that's cool. I'm trying to do a lot more PC recordings. So cool stuff. Remember, if you guys have any suggestions for Gaming as a Pope uh, gameplay, uh, like suggestions for gameplay in the background, leave that game in the comment section below. I have a lot of gameplay right now, so like, it might take me forever to get to it. But if you have any suggestions, let me know what they are. Anyways, let's get into these articles. Uh, they're pretty freaking crazy. The first one's about GTA 5 prostitution in first person. The second one is about multiplayer coming to Trials Fusion. And the third one is about a new Need for Speed game coming out. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So, moving into our first Gaming is a Pope article, these articles aren't totally new, uh, most of them are within the last week, which I'm still kind of going on that whole uh, big news of the week kind of thing, but uh, hopefully you guys still enjoy that. Um, so, this first article is about a uh, first person uh, prostitution in GTA 5, which of course, I haven't played GTA 5 on the new consoles yet, I'm really waiting for it to come out to PC to be honest, but uh, you can do first person on that stuff, which is cool I guess. I don't really like it as much as the third person from what I've seen so far, but that's just my opinion. But apparently it's pretty crazy in uh, prostitution. If you haven't seen any videos, there's a couple videos on YouTube that you can watch it. Like Super Snipe Girl, she did a video where she, where, where, where yeah, she got a prostitute, so that's interesting. So they talked to Take Two's uh, interactive CEO, which is, oh man, his name is pretty crazy, Stratus uh, Zelnik, I guess. That's a pretty cool name. But uh, he talked to some other person that I don't really care. But he basically said is, you know, why uh, are, are these games getting really tough, um, I guess, critics to this whole, like, gritty prostitution stuff? Because all this stuff is in movies and TV shows. So why do, you know, games, like, why is it such a big taboo? And he doesn't really understand that. A, a lot of people, you know, think it's really weird having prostitution first person in GTA 5 and everything. But this guy says that it's perfectly fine. I guess I don't really care about it either. I mean, I, I mean, if it is fine in movies and TV shows, I don't see it too bad in video games. Of course, it's like interactive in video games, which makes it a little bit different. But in reality, I guess it's not totally different because I guess in the game... Um, you can't really do anything with the prostitute anyway, so if you guys have seen gameplay of it, you probably figured that out. But, uh, you know, whatever. I don't really care about it. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments section, because uh, I don't really think it's too bad, but I'm sure there's some, like, you know, crazy, like, soccer moms out there that are going like, Oh, GTA 5 prostitution, uh. <laughs> When I saw the title of this article, I'll be honest, I got pretty excited. The title is Need for Speed No Limits in Development by some developer I really don't care about too much. But a new Need for Speed game, because that's awesome, because no Need for Speed game came out this year as far as I know. I was looking for one and I couldn't find one, so I don't think one came out this year. Uh, and then last year, Need for Speed Rivals came out, which I really didn't like Need for Speed Rivals. Too much online, too much douchery whenever you're a racer. And you just get, if you get wrecked, you lose all your fucking points. It's like, uh, fuck this game, I don't want to play it anymore, ugh. But anyways, now we got a new Need for Speed game, apparently. But it's, yeah, we, we got some bad news too. It's a mobile game, which is pretty unfortunate. It's being developed by Real Racing 3 developers, which is definitely a, you know, like a sign that it's not, like, like, it's not, like, the typical, like, god, I don't remember the developers that they, that do the next-gen consoles, but these guys don't do that. They also made Need for Speed Most Wanted back in 2012 for mobile, which is cool, I guess, but I just don't like mobile games in general, especially, like, racing games. If you're gonna play games on mobile, play, like, like poker, solitaire, angry birds, games that are like kind of made to work on mobile and not like racing games in my opinion, but maybe that's just me. Anyways, so if you guys are looking out for a mobile Need for Speed game, I guess you got one coming out soon. I don't think it actually says when this one's coming out, but look out for it. Need for Speed lo No Limits. I'm not going to be looking out for it because I want a fucking game on my PS4 and my, and my PC and everything. Damn it, EA. I don't know how I never noticed this whenever I played Trials Fusion, but apparently that game didn't have multiplayer, which I just totally didn't even notice. Maybe I'm just a total idiot, because 
I'm pretty sure that was on Trials Evolution. I'm pretty confident that I did play online games in that game. But apparently, um, it wasn't on Trials Fusion for some stupid fucking reason. Um, but now it's coming to there, which is cool. It's totally late. It's like a year after the game is coming out or something like that. Uh, it's coming in sometime in 2015. They don't really talk about it too much, but, uh... That's cool, I guess. Uh, the beta is already available on PC, so if you have the game on PC, check out the beta and you can play some multiplayer games. Eight people on the next-gen consoles, including PC, and four people on Xbox 360 will be the multiplayer uh, capabilities, I guess, and everything. Uh, that's cool. Um, definitely something that should have been on the game day one, uh, but that's fucking crazy. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it is a free update, so yeah, it, it is a free update. So that's cool. Um, it should have been a free update whenever the game came out, though. Why the fuck is it coming out like a year late? Like, like damn it. U Ubisoft just keeps digging. <laughs> I don't know. U U Ubisoft does keep fucking up, and this is a Ubisoft game, so I don't know what the fuck's going on, but this shit should have been on there day one, so that's fucking stupid. Alrighty then, that'll finish up episode 80 of Game is a Pope. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope it made up for not having an episode for like three months or so. Maybe two and a half months. I don't really know, but it's been too long regardless. Uh, so uh, anyways, hope you guys like the gameplay. Remember, uh, Titanfall on PC, which it's really good on PC. So if you don't have it on PC and you have a PC, like a gaming PC and everything, check out the game because it is awesome. Uh, and you can probably get a good deal, especially with Black Friday rolling around soon. Anyways, thank you guys for checking out this episode. Uh, if you guys want to drop a like on it, I do appreciate that. It does help out my channel, and I, and if you, and if like you guys show like you still like this series, and I will definitely keep it up. Even if you don't show like of this series, I'll probably still keep it up too because I just enjoy doing it. But anyways, thank you guys for checking out this episode. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of them, and I'll see you crazy motherfuckers later. Peace out.